four players, drums, guitar, bass, keyboards, uh, and I sing, I'm a guitarist, this is the drummer. Two other lads can't make it today, they're down in Wellington. Um, and we formed in Marston, really, it's kind of our base, um, but everyone's kind of been to and from Wellington over the last few years. Um, yeah, so Marston's our, our home, the way we look at it. We've been playing, well, the two of us have been playing together for like 12 years, which is frightening. A long time, <laughs> a long time, yeah. Multiple bands through school, yeah. uh, right up to college and, and whatnot. Yeah. This is kind of like an extension of the music we've been playing since. He first taught me guitar as a 13 year old. Oh, so really? He's yeah. kind of just kept going. Yeah. I taught him guitar and it turned out to be an epic drummer, so yeah. maybe I should consider my guitar, my guitar teaching. Yeah. Or, I don't know. Right, because you're still a teacher, yeah? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah full time. I yeah. just started uh, this week as a professional musician. Oh, it's for real? It's good. It's awesome. It's a bit of a feather in the hat to make a living off your instrument when mm. you do it, your passion. Yeah. Um, yeah, hey, so the, the, the debut, how long has the debut been in the, in the baking, man? Uh, it's quite scary to say. Um, we <laughs> ended up cutting, we cut a song off the album uh, that was going to be the first track. It was the first track we ever wrote for it, and we actually wrote it back in 2007, uh, which is a heck of a long time ago. We wrote it when we were 16. I wrote the first riff when I was 16. Uh, and it was kind of one of those things where the band at the time, because we were a school band, we weren't really good enough to play it. So it was like pretty hard time to change it and all sorts of stuff. So it kind of got put on the back burner. And then we went to uni and then it's just like so many assignments and so much stuff, you know, you can't jam. And we, it's sort of three years past of just little bits here and there. Yeah. Um, we kind of wrote it by the internet. Like he'd send me stuff and I'd add drums to it, send it back to him. And yeah. Oh, record. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's sort of, and then, and then it was, a, it was sort of like a long process of not knowing quite what the project was going to be. Because it started off with just the two of us, and I, I, didn't, I never thought I'd meet a keyboard player. And then I met Anthony and Pat and he just came up to me and was like, hey man, <laughs> I'm Anthony, I play keyboards, and it was perfect. So. And I've already heard you guys play, and I love it, and I already bloody know all the words. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, You're familiar with the song. Yeah. Oh, yeah, from one of our old projects. Because, um, yeah, you played in other bands, eh? That's right. Up yeah. to now. Yeah, Rhythm is our, our big band. Actually, I've got, a, I've got a Serenade shirt from when we were 14. Uh, so. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, and the print fell off mine long ago. <laughs> uh, no, I've been saving this since like my special shirt. Uh, are you genre busters or what genre do you fall into? That's kind of what prog is really. We call prog, and that's uh, that's the whole point is to be genreless really. So uh, not to be afraid of any song lengths or any set structures or any types of style. So. We sort of we we can get rock, we can get a bit of metal, we can get orchestral, choral, acoustic, anything's in there, and it's just an adventure really with the music. How many tracks on the on the new album? Six tracks, uh, at an average of more than ten, ten minutes a track. Uh, so it's a lot of a lot of music, a lot of material, but uh, that's the kind of the thing, you know. Every song, rather than having like 14, 15 songs like a, a pop record might have, it's like all of these songs are. Uh, you know, heart and soul and our blood, sweat and tears. Yeah. yeah. To get the most out of it, you've got to listen, actively listen to music. Same as you would if you were to listen to some symphony or something. You know? yeah. you're, you're going to miss a lot of detail if you just chuck it on in the car and have a chat to your mates. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's an intense listen, but it's... Uh, is, is, there, is there a structure, overt or covert, about it? You know, the, the, even, even down to the, the list order? Uh, there... There is, uh, and there's some themes that come back through the different songs, that sort of ghost, um, especially in the last track, um, which has hints the main melody that right at the end, so like the main, it's like the album theme. Uh, you tend to do some tracks previous to that. Um, so when did it drop? Uh, two weeks ago, not quite two weeks ago. And what's the reception been like? Uh, it's been awesome, really. Yeah. It's been uh, been pretty cool. Like It's been our little secret project for the last few years and only we've heard it. We haven't shown anyone any demos or anything. We've been real, like, real strict about not letting anyone listen to it. Um, yeah, I'm surprised people kept asking when the new album's out because it took so long we wouldn't share a thing. But <laughs> yeah. the people persisted and I think they're pretty happy with it. Cool. So wait, so they say? Yeah, that's excellent. It's been good. It's been we've had like heaps of just random overseas interest. Well, he's yeah. only in it for fun. Like you got to enjoy playing, and just yeah, man. These songs are like <laughs> adventures would be the right word. Like yeah, it's cool. So 
as long as people are listening, I'm happy. Whether that's just a few people around town that really get into it, or you know, we're gonna go and do a world tour, then I guess that'll be okay too. Yeah. <laughs>